One question I've recently received from my Twitter trivia, robotics fun facts and engineering fun facts is, how does potential field navigation relate to proportional control? So I just wanted to make a quick video to explain that. So in potential field navigation, obstacles are seen as a vector with a magnitude and direction that pushes the robot away or repels the robot. And goals are seen as a vector and a magnitude that draws the robot in. So if the robot moves proportional to either the goal or the obstacle, that is the same as proportional control, where you have a set point and based upon the error, it adjusts how the robot moves. So think about it like it's either pulling the robot in to the goal or it's pushing the robot away or repelling it. I'll show you a sample graphic of what that looks like as well as some code. Full speed ahead, halfway there, getting close, and stop. That's proportional control. So this loop implements proportional control, potential field navigation for go to goal. The first thing it does is it finds the difference between the current time and the beginning of the code runtime. And if that time is less than 10 seconds, the robot moves full speed ahead. If it's then less than 15 seconds, the robot is halfway there, so it slows down. If that time is less than 20 seconds, the robot is getting close, so it slows down a little bit more. And then once it is greater than 20 seconds, the robot stops.